Hey guys, today I want to share with you a video on the accuracy of the Norinco NP34. This is also known as a clone to the SIG P228. So I'll be sharing with you my experience shooting the pistol at 7 meter, 10 meter, 15 meter, and 25 meter. So um, just so you know, I'm more of a beginner intermediate level so definitely uh, for a more competent shooter will probably yield much better results than I did this is me shooting the Norinco NP34 at 7 meter This is me shooting the Norinco NP34 at 10 meter. This is me shooting the Norenko NP-34 at 15 meter.
This is me shooting the Norenko NP34 at 25 meters. This is a compilation of my shooting of this Norenko NP-34 from these various distances. As you can see on the 7 meter shot, uh, I was actually using one handed and uh, I want to explain to you why. So as of recent, I actually put in a new grip to the pistol. I'm not sure if this has something to do with it. So when I actually shoot the pistol uh, with both hands, uh, the magazine randomly drops and I got a feeling it's something to do with my grip. So when I actually shoot it one handed, the issues is not there. So it's either uh, somehow the palm of my left hand is pressing onto the uh, Mac release buttons uh, in combination with probably the vibration when you actually shoot the gun because I the the magazine drop uh, never occurred while I was uh, doing dry fire with this pistol so it was only live fire when that this happened so I got I got a feeling is something to do with my grip and how it's kind of interacting with the Mac release button so it's uh, may not be the fault of the gun uh, it most likely is my uh, my grip how is this affecting it. Uh, but it also could be perhaps a um, loose mag release button that's causing the drop. Uh, I'm going to do a video on that um, later on. Uh, but on this video, I'm just going to focus on the accuracy. So some of these videos um, were um, done uh, a while back because I don't really shoot this pistol that often. And uh, so recently, I actually put on the, the whole uh, rubber grip and then as you can see uh, those are the videos where you can see there's a uh, quite a bit of um, uh, uh, release of the uh, magazine unintentionally but in terms of the prior shooting with uh, the original grip there weren't there weren't any um, magazine uh, that just kind of drop or whatnot and in terms of my grip I may have changed my grip uh, because that uh, video uh, of the original grip was a while probably almost a year ago um, so uh, I may have adjusted my grip uh, a little since then that may have also caused why the um, uh, I guess uh, interacting with the mag release button and causing the magazine to drop. So um, I guess in terms of the results from the accuracy, there could possibly be an effect as well when the magazine was kind of randomly dropping, could have affected my um, my accuracy as well. So that uh, uh, that could be a factor. Um, so yeah, uh, so just want to kind of share with you um, my kind of uh, shooting with this pistol and see how the accuracy is uh, in various distances. 
hope uh, you all enjoy the video and uh, for those who are interested to get the Norinco MP34 it is a great deal I mean um, there uh, as I mentioned uh, earlier um, there is that potential is issues with the magazine drop maybe uh, something to do with the grip or maybe the uh, mag release buttons is a little bit loose or whatnot uh, but you know what like the pistol is really really cheap <laughs> so in terms of price wise um, uh, I don't want to use the term you get what you pay for but I mean like if this pistol was like 500 bucks yeah definitely I'll be bitching about it but it's like 200 something so uh, it is like I mean these days it's actually one one half to one so it's a, it's a really really good um it shoots uh, relatively accurate um i wouldn't say it's more accurate than my other pistols but it's very close um and i think uh for more competent shooters they might actually yield a much better accuracy with it as well so um yeah i hope those uh i guess people who are thinking of getting it uh would find this video uh somewhat useful and uh yeah and hope you all uh subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and uh thank you all for watching take care